Hi everyone, back with another video today. This is going to be a review of the anime and live action film of Your Lie in April. This review was suggested to me by my friend Duita, who has always been really supportive throughout this whole thing. And I'd like to thank her again for everything as well as suggesting this review. So, I really liked a lot of things in this anime. The themes were probably the best part of it. It really went into deep and mature themes and more ambiguous ones. Our main character, Kosei, and I know I'm terrible at pronunciations of Japanese names, as I'm sure I've said for pretty much every review of an anime I've done other than maybe The Cat Returns. But anyway, Kusei is an aspiring piano player prodigy who winds up stopping music after the death of his mother, which he feels he's responsible for because he wished her dead, which we find out halfway through the series, and he is unable to hear the music, which he believes is a punishment for this. Kaori, a violinist, inspires him to stop her music again and persuades him to become her accompaniment on the piano. And over the series, we have Kusei slowly starting to, to embrace his musical talents once again. Like I said before, the themes of this show are really deep and neither black or white. Kosei's mother isn't a nice person at all, really. She's an abusive mother. She makes him feel awful and puts him down and physically hits him in public. But at the same time, she wants him to have a good life when she's gone. And she thinks that a musical pursuit and constantly getting better is the way to do it. But at the same time, it doesn't excuse the fact that she doesn't allow him to make any mistakes. And she expects perfection. And when he doesn't make everything perfect, she abuses him. But at the same time... We have it that he feels very guilty about wishing her dead and feels responsible for it and still is trying to put himself to her when he does play. He sees glimpses of her kind of living for her. Which is a nice, really complex mother-son relationship, unlike other ones that are all happy or all bad. It's a nice to see a parent-child relationship that's out of the fathom. And while I'm more on the negative side for how her parenting was, I can appreciate that they weren't going for a completely one-dimensional. Because even... Bad parents aren't all, like, evil stepmothers from Disney films. They do make some okay to good decisions with their parenting. But in a way, that makes their bad parts all the worse. It's also nice to see... The idea of having something you loved or were really good at be taken away from you, not physically, but emotionally because of yourself, because of a bad incident. That's a really major part of Kusei's conflict, finding him to play again, not being able to physically hear it, trying to find a way around all his problems and Kari really helps him with that and there's so many nice moments of those those two 
course, of course, guys, really fall in love. No spoilers because you can pretty much see exactly what's going. Most anime that I have have been really had a couple come out of nowhere, which is good because there should still be chemistry and not just, oh, boy and girl aren't there yet. Gotta put them together. But no, here it really is bowed up. They do have their fights, and Kaori does get really mad at Crusade many times, including the time they first meet, and he's taking a picture of her performing with kids, and then an August of Wind has her skirt fly up, and then she assumes he's being a pervert. And then there's nice moments of those two just bonding. One particular moment happens fairly early on in the series when they're at a cafe and two children are playing on the piano and then they and then Kuse plays it while they sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star which they wind up singing together later as a nice little callback to earlier on in the series. The animation for this one is really gorgeous, very realistic animation, but what's more fun is when it has a comedic moment or shows the character getting angry and then it gets really exaggerated features like their eyes or their mouth disappears for surprise sometimes, or sometimes grows really big and it's like, this for when they're angry <laughs> and it cracked me up for most of the times I saw it but it knows when to be comedic and it knows when to be serious especially in the last episode when it gets very serious and heart-wrenching now other anime the other anime I talked about before, Death Note, along with this film, had the live action from being not nearly as interesting or fascinating as the anime. So I was understandably, I think, nervous that this could come out the same way. To my surprise, it didn't. The movie did a good job of translating the anime and presumably manga to a live action platform. Usually this can be really hard to do because, as I said in my many reviews, especially my earlier ones, animation is a medium, and it's a medium that can be used to do anything that in live action it can't. So obviously the over-exaggerated features aren't really going to be done for a live action. But there's a lot of nice things here. There's plenty of shot for shot style re sh um, scenes, particularly with Tottery and the kids playing music, or when she plays hopscotch with the little girls later, or the piano scene, which were all some of my favorite scenes in the anime, and they just kept my interest the most. And Kusei. And Bob is a really likable character. Not really from his streets so much as how sympathetic he is because of how he's lost everything he loves and how even though he's made mistakes that he, and said awful things, he's never completely out of line because with how his mother treated him, it is understandable why we feel that way. Kaori is another character that's great. She clearly really cares about Kuse and wants him to pursue all of his talents, and she wants to be close to him. As we find out, she was an admirer of his later, and how she always gets so mad at him when he doesn't come to see her or and one time when he doesn't bring her a get well soon gift which leads to a lot of comedy so 
Your Lie in April is a really emotional anime with still some comedic moments that brings up realistic and honest themes. And its film, for fans of the anime, doesn't disappoint at all. Highly recommend. Thanks again for watching this video. And, as always, leave an animated movie that you want me to review in the comments. Until then, see you later.